Hello, this is Jonathan Jimbo here. Um, today I've got a video going over the Siege scoring system. And specifically, I'm going to be presenting the numbers. So if numbers bore you, then this is not the video for you and you should probably click off. So what I've done is I've compiled these numbers into a Google Sheets document that's um, for ease of reference, that's going to be linked in the description of this video. In this video itself, I'm going to be, well, going over that document. So without further ado, let's get started. So first things first, the way that you want to score big in um, Siege of Heaven is you want to stack as many of these multipliers uh, in that I've got shown on screen as possible in your money shots. Uh, and those money shots are typically made with the Tempest Arrow. So the normal strategy is to build up your combo, uh, spawn uh, Holy Lights, um, specifically the holy lights corresponding to whatever shot you're trying to make um, and uh, as, as I've listed here though um, as, as long as you have uh, your achievements those will be a times four multiplier um, and then you'll be making those shots with Tempest to capitalize on uh, these multipliers as much as possible uh, so that's the idea of um, scoring well so let's first look at Saints Approach for it as an example of this so in Saints Approach we've got the double gap shot um, and um, that carries the biggest multiplier um, so let's say uh, we uh, uh, um, an enemy um, walks by the double gap shot um, but we also have the holy ground up now we have a times 32 multiplier um, uh, now enemies at that position uh, are likely to carry the long shot multi uh, um, carry the long shot multiplier so we can times that by 2.5 um, if we um, if we score a perfect we can add um, an extra times two to that um, we can also headshot with Tempest if we angle the shots right so that's an, another times two and we can quickly see that um, when you stack all these multipliers together you can score quite a lot of points that way um, before I proceed further I'm going to give credit where credit's due um, so credit to Aaron, um 360 uh, for working out both um, the double gap shot multiply as times eight whereas previously um, it was thought of as times four um, and also the uh, formula for multi-kill which I will go into later on in this video. The next thing to be aware of is that different enemies have um, a different amount of base points so in the previous case we used the example of um, Saints approach and specifically the double gap shot over the holy light. Um, now it's important to bear in mind that um, if an abomination um, walks into that position and you make uh, that particular shot you're going to score much less than for example if a black knight um, walks um, walks into that position and you make the exact same shot with the exact same uh, multipliers on it uh, because the base points um, is much larger so you especially want to be watching for knights um, that walk by wherever shot you're trying to make um, and specifically uh, knights with shields are worth 100 points more uh, and the color of the knight also um, also matters um, but then there are other examples uh, of enemies that can be worth a lot more points. Uh, for example, Screamers in uh, Desolate Town and Siege Royale, they can be worth a fair, a fair bunch. Uh, obviously, you've got the Orphans and the Golden Bats. Um, what's interesting um, is that the Orphans and the Golden Bats, uh, you can... You can, you can rage them, they don't seem to make much of a difference in their animations, but you'll still get times two points, uh, whereas for Cupids, um, 
if you try and rage them you won't get any additional points uh, and it doesn't seem to make a difference in speed either uh, and this is specifically when I hit the bell first then spawn the cupid I haven't tried uh, doing that in reverse order one thing in the previous clip that I forgot to mention is um, scoring for non-kill damage so it's not just kills that are awarded points it's non-kill damage however um, if your shot doesn't kill the enemy um, you don't get the full base points for that shot um, so one one thing I tested um, I tested against a knight I think it was a white knight um, uh, and I did three body shots which which killed um, the white knight uh, and the total amount of points of all those three shots added up to 200 so it does seem that um, you're not losing points um, by uh, killing an enemy in several goes um, and we're not um, we're ignoring uh, losing losing out on the headshot multiplier here um, but uh, just simply killing an enemy in three goes um, itself doesn't seem to be losing any points um, on the other hand those points awarded for each of the three shots were didn't seem to be distributed evenly I got more more points for the killing shot I think I got around 100 for the killing shot whereas I got 50 for the previous two body shots yet yeah, I think all of those shots had roughly the same power and did roughly the same damage so the next thing to bear in mind if you want to score big is the combo multiplier uh, so not only do you want uh, a multiplier in terms of the shot you make um, and not only do you want high base points but you um, you also want to be doing that with a high combo uh, for the maximum amount of points on your shot uh, so first off credit to RB Avenue for these numbers at least up until a uh, combo length of times 24 and then what I've done is I've extrapolated the same pattern uh, you, if you look carefully um, uh, after a certain point you start adding uh, 0.2 to the combo multiplier uh, for each combo so what I've done is extrapolated that forward all the way until combo uh, times 100 uh, now uh, I haven't gone and individually verified all of these numbers. In fact, I don't think, I don't even know if it's possible to get a combo of 100. Um, but uh, I did verify for one of the numbers, I think somewhere between a combo of 40 and 50. Um, so what's most important uh, to note here uh, is that you get diminishing returns um, for higher combos than you get for um, increasing your combo at the start so obviously if you don't have a combo at all before your shot so the shot is made with a combo of one you have a one times multiplier um, but if you um, just by shooting one enemy before you make your money shot now that money shot is going to be worth twice as much so it's, it, you, you never want to be making your best shots with, with a combo of one uh, that, 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 that's silly. Even if, you broke, even if you've broken your combo just before, you at least want to double your points with, with a combo of two. Um, uh, and then the next one, 2.7, so you, um, uh, you don't get quite as much. Uh, and then roughly once you've got... Um, a combo of nine uh, it, it, it then completely tails off to um, an, uh, plus 0.2 per uh, per combo so towards the beginning of this video I um, had said I was going to explain how the multi kill bonus works um, and this is more complicated than um, the other multipliers so th what I'm gonna what I'm gonna do um, is give an example so let's say that uh, we have a combo of 10 um, then we fire a cataclysm uh, that cataclysm goes off and kills five abominations um, and at the end we have a um, combo of 15 so the way the multi kill bonus first works is that all five abominations will be scored 
as though they had a combo of 15. So instead of it being combo 11, then 12, and 13, then 14, and 15, all five abominations will uh, be awarded combo 15. So we can first check the multiplier at combo 15. Um, that multiplier is 5.84. Um, so um, all of those abominations will have a combo multiplier of 5.84. Um, now, the next thing that happens is a 20% bonus is awarded um, on all uh, kills within the multi-kill. Um, so that, 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 that would basically explain what happens if, if it was just a cataclysm fired and there were no other multipliers. Uh, it gets more complicated, though, when you consider multipliers as well as non-kill damage. Uh, so we start with non-kill damage. Um, so what 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 happens? Uh, the non-kill damage um, gets scored uh, with the ending combo of 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 the multi-kill. So let's say um, let's say your cataclysm uh, killed five abominations. So you have an ending combo of fifteen but it also partially killed a knight. Um, so that damage would still be scored with a combo of 15, but it wouldn't take advantage of the 1.2, um, uh, it wouldn't take advantage of the 20% multi-kill bonus because it's not actually part of the multi-kill. Um, the next complication is when we have different multipliers. Uh, so you'll see when that happens, um the you'll see different totals pop up um and essentially all that's happening is the same formula is being applied but um but the different um multipliers are taken separately so let's say um let's say we start with a combo of 10 uh, and we fire a tempest shot that tempest shot headshots one abomination and body shots the other um, so we have an ending combo of 12. Um, so if we go to the combo multiplier, uh, both abominations will be scored with a 5.24 um, times multiplier. Uh, and both, ab both abominations um, will be given a 20% bonus uh, because of the multi-kill. However, one abomination will take advantage of the headshot multiplier, the other won't. Um, and that applies to all the other multipliers. So if one of them was on a holy ground, uh, we'd um one would take advantage of that the other the, the other wouldn't um and we'd see different totals for different um groupings of multiplier so to round this off um what i've gone and done is created a scoring calculator that basically calculates everything that i've explained in this video thus far so the first thing to do is reset it to its default state now it's currently in its default state but let's say that the um it isn't. Um, what you do is, well, I've got the defaults here, so you'd uh, select them all, you'd copy them, and then you'd um, paste them here. Um, you don't want to you ignore the score. That's, that field gets calculated, so it's the other fields that you paste into, um, uh, and like so. So now we want to try and use this to calculate something. Um, so let's say we're in Saints Approach. Um, let's say we've got two red knights that walk by that the double gap shot and we have the holy light um let's say they're also raged um so um we've got two holy knights i mean we've got two um red knights sorry um uh so you put two is two is the quantity um uh next um we look for the base points so uh, uh red knights let's say they don't have a shield um so uh, that would be 300 um, so you would type in 300 into the base points uh, let's say that they come towards the end of the wave we've already got a combo of 20 um, now what this combo field is doing is it's gonna look for these multipliers here so it only works if you type in a number between 1 and 100 um, uh, so let's say the combo is 20 uh, let's say that um, uh, for both knights, we score a headshot with Tempest. Uh, now, uh, in Saints Approach, uh, that uh, 
that double gap uh, so after after that double gap right at the back where the holy light is that's a long shot so we put um uh so yeah if you if you, if you hadn't already noticed um the way these multiplier fields work is that um if you have it you type in a one and if you don't have it you leave it at zero um yeah sorry i forgot to, forgot to explain it until i um got carried away with uh with showing this off um uh, so back to uh, where i was um uh, it's obviously a double gap shot um uh I said before we got the holy ground um, and these knights are raged um, and let's say that um, we managed to get headshots on them both with the tempest arrow um, uh, killing them and that makes it a multi-kill um, so we deduce that those red knights are worth 1.5 million and if we perfect the wave that's 3 million um, so you can see, um, you, you, you can see how just one shot can be worth a, a huge amount of points in Saints Approach. Um, and if we make several of that shots, um, several of those type shots throughout the, throughout the map, we can, um, well, we can crush the leaderboards if we can do that. Um, so with this calculator one one thing to note is that uh, you'd pro um, the, these numbers will get you in roughly the right ballpark of the answer but in um, in reality the game uh, likes to, to do a bunch of rounding so the numbers that you'll see you know may, might be let's say within um, within 10 or within 50 of the um with the with the actual answer and this is especially the case when they're big numbers like three million um they're probably not going to uh be exactly um correct uh, whereas they're a lot more likely to be exactly correct when they're small numbers um but in in either case they'll um they'll get you into um the right ballpark of the answer um now let uh, let's make our shot even more spicy. Let's say we also get an abomination, but we don't get the headshot um, uh, within our multi kill. So we use a second row for that. Um, now the abomination has a base points of one hundred. We don't get the headshot, but it's still a long shot, um, still a double gap shot, and it's still over the holy ground. Um, and we're still it's still rage and multi kill, um, and. Uh, and we still get a perfect wave so now we add 38k to to the total um uh, it hasn't made much of a difference but again this is this is for demonstration purposes just to to how to calculate these things so yep i think that explains everything um i think that explains everything you need to know um for this calculator um, the only thing I want to point out is um, I recommend creating a copy of the um, a copy of this document uh, to use locally because that that way you can um, you'll be able to edit these fields. Whereas I think in the public version I'm going to be locking these fields for editing. Well, I hope that has been useful. If you have any questions, please feel free to drop them in the comment section. And that being said, I hope to see you guys exponentially climb the siege leaderboards one multiplier at a time.